G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines. Uh, we're just south of Newcastle uh, on the central coast of New South Wales with the man that builds the boats and the man that sells the boats. It's Brendan McDonald and Jason Oliver here. Jason, you're from Remora Boats. Just down the road here, you've got a shed and you crack out these very popular, very well-built little fun machines. And uh, Mac Marine, that's as you, um, sells the boats. Uh, retailer can fit them up with all the Suzuki and all the gear. So we're going to take one of these boats for a test today, but before that... We're going to talk to these guys about some of the specifics. And uh, Jason, first, and we've got some of the cutaways here of uh, in your shed down there. Um, you've got a bit of a waiting list coming for these boats already. Remoras have only been born recently. Yep, uh, in the last uh, 12 months, uh, January last year, we started this and um, yeah, got the first one out uh, sort of August last year and yeah, been going pretty good ever since. So. Well, you have a cracking Instagram page where you put some great content up there. They're a good looking boat and they really hit the mark of the, the young, keen fishing guys that want a boat that can do anything from, you know, marlin to bass in the fresh water. Um, tell us exactly what the name of this model is and a little bit about it. Uh, it's a Remora. It's um, a 4.9, so it's a 4.9 metre boat. Uh, Remora, that's uh, my lure brand and, and, you know, I've done pretty well with that. So, uh, it's a little fish that's uh, around marlin and, and sharks and offshore, so um, and the name stuck, so hence Remora. We see the uh, the Remora pad on its head logo on the front of the console there. Um, when we were at the factory before, you were telling me about the build quality of these boats. Um, you know, a lot of boats of this ilk, uh, after 10 or 20 years, you have to pull them all apart and replace all the wood in them. Not one piece of wood in this, no, is there? It's all uh, fiberglass and thermalite construction, so... Yeah, they're built strong and they're built to last. So your kids' kids will be repowering them but not rebuilding them. Tell us a little bit about um, what you've done to to allow a 115 horsepower motor on these. There was a few modifications you had to do, but now it's a pocket rocket with that uh, bigger motor on. Yeah, to get the build plate uh, 500 litres of uh, flotation, so positive flotation, um, and extended the hull and raised the transom to 25 inches. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's a bit of work, but it, we've got it done. So Now, we're going to take one of these for a ride down in the lake soon, so we'll get to experience for ourselves, I suppose, uh, the performance of these things. But uh, you say it's well-built. Let's see if it's well-built on the water. Brendan, um, Mac Marine, very nice-looking dealership here, and uh, and you've picked up Jason's boats. Uh, this is a good-looking rig with the 115 Suzuki on the back. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, we've got the 115 on the back of the Remor here. It's a mechanical-controlled Suzuki. Um, yeah, also can fit the fly-by-wire as well. Uh, yeah. This, um, in a lot of the outboard configurations, to get a 115 of fly-by-wire is actually pretty uh, unique. Not a lot of them do the fly-by-wire that small. Have, have you had this one on the water yet, or is this the first water test today? This will be our first water test today. Um, yeah, and Suzuki is the only first fly-by-wire at 115 horsepower, so, yeah, class leading in that, in that regard. Now, Jason, you supply these boats as a boat on a trailer, but you fit the motor and all the accessories. What have you pimped this boat out with to, uh, to appeal to your customers? So we've only just started pimping this boat out. So, so far we've got the Minn Kota on the front there. Uh, we've also got the high drive hydraulic steering. Yep. Um, yeah, and we've only just started to add accessories to this boat. Now, it's a, it's a good looking boat. Uh, the Suzuki matches the dark colours and the, and the guards on the trailer. Um, what do you see as a dealer as the, the potential market being for this, uh, this boat? It's, it's not for your 80 year old whiting fishermen, is it? No, it's more for your uh, game fishers, onshore, offshore, um, for sure, yeah purely a fishing boat, yep. fishing machine, yeah. Well, it's an interesting time. We've got a few hours of light left. We're going to take it down to Lake Macquarie here on the Central Coast, going to drop it in the water. We're going to come back to you with some performance statistics.
All right, so that is Fishing Monthly's first look and probably your first look at a Remora boat, in particular this 490 um, fiberglass model. It's fitted with the 115 Suzuki four-stroke on the back. Uh, it's a two-litre, four-cylinder inline EFI four-stroke. And let me say, that is a nice, powerful motor for this rig. It's the maximum horsepower that you can put on the rig. You can get it with smaller horsepowers if you want to keep the initial purchase price and maybe some of the running prices down. Uh, but we'll get to that pricing a little bit later on. Um, firstly, guess below in the comments. If you can guess what uh, old favourite hull this one is maybe based on, whack it down in the comments below. All I can say is the addition of that pod is fantastic performance-wise, but also saves a lot of space for an internal uh, motor well. Um, it's also built to have a 25 inch shaft extra long shaft motor rather than the 20 inch shaft that maybe some of the older versions of this hull had. Um, that 115 gives it a really easy hole shot. It's got hydraulic steering as standard in these boats. So you'll find the steering, the trim smooth, that acceleration through the whole rev range is not a problem because you've got that abundant power on the back of it. As always, I recommend if you buy a boat, put the maximum horsepower on straight away because I guarantee at some stage during your boating career, you're gonna have, wanna have that horsepower on anyway. Um, very responsive to trim as well. Um, you know, I can see guys that wanna cross coastal bars on this are gonna love the fact that they can, uh, they can hit the hammers and they move straight away. But also the fact that when you're coming back, say in a following sea, you can just trim it, have that whole angle sitting exactly right so that it's both dry and a comfortable ride. Um, there is 100 litres of fuel under floor here, um, which means that uh, although we had no fuel metering on the boat this afternoon, typically this motor on a rig will give you that two to three kilometres per litre. So the standard 100 litre tank will give you that 200, 200 kilometres plus of range. But you know what? You can talk to Jason and the guys and they can do a 140 litre tank if more range is your thing. And if you prop this, cruise it right, man, you could get 300 kilometres plus, which would suit guys that want to do the big reef adventure in a little boat like this. Um, I suppose whenever we test boats, they always get tested light, which means it hasn't got fishing tackle in it. This had half a tank of fuel in it. Um, it's fitted with a 19 inch three blade aluminium Suzuki standard factory prop. Um, and it revved out to 6,100 RPM sitting in the high 60 kilometres an hour. Now you might think, ah, uh, I could probably go up in prop, but by the time you fill it up, Put an esky in, put the ice in, put all your tackle in, put all the things in. It's probably going to be the right prop for this boat. So uh, we're always aware of that, I suppose, when we're, uh, when we're boat testing. Um, some of the performance stats, otherwise sitting on a cruising speed of 4,000 RPM, which is normally around the most efficient, 43 kilometres an hour, which will chew up those kilometres on the ocean. Um, the thing everyone wants to know, of course, is what is one going to cost me? Well, you go to Mac Marine, the local dealer here at Newcastle, uh, as tested with the Min Coda, the framing, um, as you see tested here, $57,000. But if you want to get a basic package, just a boat motor trailer with, say, a smaller horsepower, uh, late $40,000 will get you in the picture. So call the guys at Mac Marine or visit them on www.macmarine.com.au. You can see it down there for any more information and to organise a test drive. And personally, best way to enjoy a boat like this and to see if it's the boat for you is to go for a test drive. This is their demo model. Let's uh, get it out on the water. If you're keen on it, give the guys a call. Um, if you want more information on the Remora Boats, those guys don't have a website, but they have a very active and cool Instagram page. Remora Boats on Instagram. You can see what Jason and the team are up to. They've got some great things in the pipeline. Mac Marine's a great new Newcastle dealership. Looks really, really clean. Um, we're sure you're going to enjoy taking one for a test drive if that's what you choose to do.